joining us now, the man responsible for all of those storylines, EastEnders executive producer, Diderik Santa. Hello. Hi, hi. Gosh, how do you sleep at night with all those storylines going through your head? You it, must be going, whoa! It's hard sometimes, yeah, all those different things, all those different characters, keeping all those different balls up in the air. But, um, no, I loved that package and it just reminded me what... Yeah, it was a big a, year last what year. What a great year we had, yeah. And what, yeah. what a great Christmas and New Year as well. Well done for the Christmas Day ratings. Thank you. Peaked at 11.9 million people. So I understand. Yes, yes, so it did. I know that because I was on the other side at the time. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> With all-star Mr and Mrs. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> I think we scraped a few people. Um, because great stories, big stories, and the culmination of big stories as well. That's right. On Christmas Day, uh, by that point, every single character in the whole of Walford hated Artie, Archie Mitchell and wanted to see him dead. And uh, it, it, someone killed him on that day. We don't know who. That, that story, the outcome of that story, uh, will be in our live episode on, on the 19th of February, uh, which will be our 25th anniversary. Oh, yeah. And uh, viewers will discover in that episode who, who the killer was. We um, were talking to, to Kim Crowther from yeah, Coronation Street, yeah. the exec on that the other day, about live episodes. And she was saying that, uh, that they d don't tend to go down that road because they're worried or um, uh, would consider perhaps that people would watch it in case there was a mistake rather than watching the storyline. What's your view? Well, the reason to watch this one is, um, is, is because uh, it's going to have this fantastic reveal but also, the, the, the real reason we're doing it is to absolutely keep it a secret until that time. Until that day, only six people will know who the killer is. And, and that night, probably once we've already started transmitting the show, I'll speak to the actor or actress and tell them that it's them. And we'll, oh, and, and, yeah. and we'll do the lines around that then. Well, we, we, we'll have rehearsed um, Different a endings. number of endings. And you know, we'll say to the cast and to the crew, we're doing ending number three or ending number nine or, or whatever. Well, let's look um, at the uh, the moment that will that, that obviously started all that off. And yeah. That is the uh, that is the clubbing. Here we go. And you didn't even have the real killer in that scene doing the business. No, we had a stunt man called Lee uh, swinging the uh, swinging the bus. Um, uh, so that's the nineteenth of February yeah, yeah. is when the live episode is. Yeah. So we've got to wait until then to find out. You have, but until then, it's for the audience to enjoy all the twists and turns. And there's lots of clues at different points. There's different suspects at the moment, and through the next week, it looks like it might be Ian Beale. We, we look closely at Phil and Peggy and, and Well, Sam it's interesting you episodes. say all these names because Megan um, has contacted us and says it has to be someone who's leaving the show. So that leaves us with Peggy, Sam or Bradley. Can, or can we expect a dramatic twist? Well, we can certainly expect a dramatic twist, but if it, was a, if it was a person that was leaving the show, that would assume that the police and everyone found out who it was. What's to say that even though the killer will be real, revealed to the audience, what's to say that it will be revealed to the other characters of Wolford or to the police. Let's have oh. some quick fire questions. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Georgie Grindle in, um, in Gloucester. I love the online spin off of E20. It's great, oh, great to see you hitting a younger audience. Is this an ongoing project and, and will, what will happen to the characters? I really hope so. We've done 12 episodes of this new series, EastEnders E20. It's available online via our website. It's going really well. It started last week. Episode 5 is on tonight. Um, we're, hoping, uh, we're hoping to do more. Um, uh, and it's, it's just a different angle on Walford. It's, uh, it features a different set of characters, uh, four young characters. It's written by 12, 13, 17 to two year olds from, from London. And it's like EastEnders, but no, it's got a different feel. It's based around different characters. It's like a, as I say, it's like a parallel universe show. Okay, we've got an email here from Lucy Horn. She said, please can you tell me if Ronnie and Jack get back together, they are made for each other. Aren't they? I, I, think, I think they're gorgeous together. They just don't know it. And they've both got so much baggage. Ronnie, particularly, yeah. all those issues with her dad, with her daughter. I, I think if she could get past those issues and recognise that, just recognise the love of a good man, then I think they'd be fine. But there is another man coming into their lives, their brother. Yeah, that's right. Uh, 
Danny Mitchell, Roxy and Ronnie's brother that they never knew about. Yeah. Yeah, he appears in the show next week and um, very good looking young man, nice hairstyle. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, he's, uh, he's uh, uh, played by a brilliant young actor called Liam Bergen and uh, lots of intrigue and excitement between the three of them as they as they get to know each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, Julie from Birmingham, any plans to bring uh, the fantastic Grant Mitchell back in the future? Um, a great character, Grant, much loved, much missed. I think he's in, those cat in the category of characters that the, you know, the audience loves, the show r remembers, and you know, I'd never say never to, 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 to him coming back. Okay, Claire from Staffordshire and Sue from Worcestershire says, um, do Christian and Saeed end up together? Because they're on honeymoon at the moment, aren't they, Amira? So uh, Amira and Saeed, well, they had their big, we had the big wedding episode yeah. on New Year's Day with, um, uh, where Saeed made his choice to, to, to marry Amira and to try and, and, and repress his feelings for Christian. They're off on honeymoon. Well, there's a big secret there, isn't there? There's this affair. But lots more people know about it now. Well, that's right. Uh, Zainab knows about it, and Lucy and Jane Beale know about it. I think it's inevitable, sooner or later, Amira is going to find, find out. out. About it. It's going to be a dum 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 dum, dum isn't it? Yeah, and also his dad, uh, Masood. So there's 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 excitement coming up there. Whether there's a happy ending for Christian and Saeed, I can't say. But uh, you know, there's there's some resolution is required. You won't say anything. No, I'm sorry. You're I'm no sorry. fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we don't want you to try me with either. another one, maybe I can say something. Well, what about right. this one? John from Northampton says, Dot's been off screen for some time. Yes. I was wondering when she's likely to reappear on screen more permanently. She's been much missed. She's one of my favourite characters. Oh, she's one of mine as well. Uh, that I can help with. June spent much of the autumn in the West End doing Calendar Girls and, uh, and therefore wasn't really available to film with us too much. She's back with us now, full time, and oh, uh, she's back on screen uh, very soon. And we're, we're all enjoying Having her back on the show is yeah. fantastic. Um, Kate from Middlesbrough, I mean, I, and this is very close to my own heart. Will my lovely Heather ever find love? Well, she's got Shirley, mm. and uh, she's now got uh, baby George Michael Trot. Um, <laughs> whether she'll find love? Oh, I hope so. I think you know she's got so much love to give, and she's proving to be a fantastic mum, Heather. Um, but whoever takes on Heather has got to take on Shirley as well. Yeah, that, they're that's, a that is pretty fun. Dynamic duo. Yeah. Um, Ryan in London says, if you could change one thing you've done during your time as an exec producer, what would it be and why? Goodness me. Well, there have been lots of tough decisions and not all of them have always been popular. A lot of people were quite angry with me when I killed Danielle. Yeah, and, um, I know. Yeah. So, uh, well, the, yeah, outcry. there was there was, there was there was There was an outcry. I think it was the right thing to do and I think most of the things, I think pretty much all of the big decisions I've made I'm, I'm pleased with. Um, maybe Sean Slater's exit last year wasn't our best mm -hmm. moment. Perhaps Robert Kaczynski's character deserved a better send-off. I don't think we, we quite got the story right. There was a thing with a lake and it was all a bit odd. But on the whole, lake. But on the whole, I've been really happy with what I've done. Diedrich, thank you for coming thank in today. You. Great pleasure. pleasure. Great pleasure. You must thank come you back and do it again. We'll try and pry some more information out of it. <laughs> <laughs>